Good morning everyone. So um, I'm going to do the uh, pigments. promised that a couple of times and I didn't do it. But we're going to do these three colors. We're going to do uh, the French. This one is French. I think they're all French. So we're going to do these colors and I've already mixed them. And what I'm using is a gloss medium which I watered down a little bit put the pigments in and it's really sticky so that's good because that's gonna make sure everything sticks to the canvas uh, I did gesso the canvas a couple of times so it has a good grip so that's important then I also use a marble a flower powder don't know what you call it we call it a marble flower that's what we're gonna put in there and we're going to use the 3D balls of Powertex. So I have the small, I have the large, and I have the medium. So uh, this is all experimental because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, as usual. So we're just going to do this. I did put a support under this uh, canvas because it's a 50 by 50 centimeters. And if I put too much fluid on, I'm afraid it's going to be sagging in the middle. So it does have a support. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that marble powder. Because I do think it's a little too thin. Well, it is really thin. It's water thin. But that's sort of what I'm going for because I want to mix it sort of that it naturally mixes together I see that I do have a little slope so I'll have to be careful with that adding another little bit of that marble marble stuff mixing it up I want it to gradually get to each other so that it mixes. I think I'll be needing a little bit more of that marble just to thicken it up a little. Yeah, it's coming out better now, a little bit better. Put some more of that marble. I've got enough of this because it's not really uh, expensive stuff, so I hope it's going to give us a little bit thickness. I do think it's pretty transparent though, here and there. Okay, I'm going to let it come back down a little. Ooh, it did go off the side, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, got to get some more of the marble stuff. I'm going to be adding a little bit more because it's way too thin. So I'm putting it in both colors and then I'm going to be adding the green as at last. Uh, because of the, uh, I don't want too much of it. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it's working better. I think I'll just have to put more of that in. Going down here. Got to keep a little because I want to put those power text balls uh, into uh, the last. But I want them to be colored. Okay. This is still pretty thin. Don't go over the side, please. Go in the middle.
I do like what it's doing. It's giving a lot of color. I did see that the, uh, see, when I rub it, more color comes off. I did see that uh, the pigments weren't totally taken in. But that's uh, something that you, I can work with. A little bit more here. Just rubbing it out. This is going to get really sticky because it's all gloss medium. But it's also going to help to adhere everything to this canvas. That's nice. I like that. I would have liked a little bit more separation of the colors, but that's for another time, I guess. This is, like I said, a lot of experimenting. Rubbing it in here and there and trying to keep everything on the canvas as much as possible that it's not, because I've, I've got a little runoff on the side here, but I'm sure that I need more of that marble, marble stuff. So I'm going to put that in the green too, that it can take it up. Got to put some down here where it doesn't go. Oh, yes it does. Well, I'll show you anyway, you know, whatever it turns into. But I have an idea. Oh, that's nice in the corner there. I have an idea that this is going to... Because this, what you're seeing here, that milky uh, milky surface, that's going to be gone because, of, co of course, the uh, medium is white. So the intensity of these colors, they're going to uh, get more and more intense. Now I'm going to put the rest of this in with the other color because I have too much water on top of my... Yeah, that's better. Now we're going to add the green. More marble stuff in there. I think next time I'm going to not water down the, uh, the gloss medium so much. I want it spreading out a little bit. Some more up here. Might take a bit to dry though. <laughs> Not really down here. Okay. That's sort of looking okay to me. You're only seeing a part of it, but there's a lot more. Now, I'm going to start off with the medium balls. So I'm adding them to the cup with pigments. Because, like I said, I, I would like there to be a little color going on in them. And I'm going to add some sand. Or the, the small ones. And that's going to soak up some of that. And they didn't really take the color, so I might have to, I might have to do some painting later on. Oh, that I like, but not today. I like the way it spreads out. A little bit of green up here. 
and a tiny little bit of green down here. And now I'm going to do the same with the other color. And I am guessing that you won't be seeing the dried product today because it is wet. It's still dripping off the side. So we're going to add that up here. Spread it out a little bit. I am so watching a lot of these uh, ceramic uh, videos on YouTube, and I think I just might, when once I've moved, I think I might just buy one of those pottery wheels and one of those ovens. They are really expensive. I was looking for a, a small one, you know, for small pots, but gee, they are expensive. Something like um, 1200 without the, uh, the computer. You know, you, you need one of those computer things to help you with the firing times and stuff. So I think 2000 something like that. And it's not even that big. Can't put really big vases in there. But we'll see what happens. Just got to get my hubby on board. <laughs> I'm sure he's, what? What do you want? You don't have enough hobbies. So you need another hobby. Yep. Ah, uh, we'll see. Might blow over. Who knows? I got that other stuff to do also. Oh, I'm going to do that video later on with everything, you know, with the fabric that I colored. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the uh, real estate in Holland. And I'm going to show you some of the um, the groceries, <laughs> what they cost, if you're interested. But I'm sure some of you are interested. So I'm going to show that later on. And I'm also going to show you a ceramic artist that is going to blow your socks off. I'm pretty sure maybe some of you have seen it, but seen her. But she's Japanese and she makes stuff. When I saw it, I thought, yep, yeah, that's what I want to do. But then I tried to do that, and what you really need is a ceramic oven. So uh, that sort of made me decide maybe I should get one. Now, this is all really interesting going on. So, but now we have to wait till it's dry, and that's going to take a long, long time. I've already seen that. But. I love what's going on here. You see, you see the bigger ones, the bigger Powertex 3D balls, but all around it, those little <laughs> sandy ones, they are bunched together and they're making these really awesome patterns. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint over this because this is really, they're somehow floating, which they've never done before. Let me see if I can do that here. They're sort of floating around and they bunch together. I don't know what that is, what they're doing, but they are sure making some pretty patterns. And because I'm working so much with the Powertex, I was checking, you know, um, online and really everyone can get their hands on Powertex even this stuff, because uh, I, I checked the USA, the UK, Australia, Germany, Belgium, every country has them, so, gee, this is really pretty if I put that in, so you can get your hands on it, and as you can see, you don't really use that much, it depends on what, what kind of effects you're looking for, but I like this, and it's sort of soaking up a lot of the uh, gloss medium so this just might be a good thing and let it come down here 
This is pretty. I'm not sure about the color though. But that's going to come up, like I said, it's going to come up later when the uh, when that milky uh, stuff is gone. But then again, maybe I like the milky stuff. But then I can always add white pigments. I'm going to put a little on here. I think that's enough. You don't want to overdo it. So that sandy stuff that you see me using is the small. And the little bit bigger is the medium. That's medium. And I do have large, but I think that's going to overdo it on this. Uh, see that? They're really big, so I'm not going to do that. We're going to leave this uh, to dry. Just going to make sure that the sides are all covered. Yep, they are. Oops, went with my finger. Don't do that. Okay. Here along the side, up on top. Yep. We're going to let this dry, and I'm going to put this on, and you'll see, ooh, no, because I might not be doing videos next week, guys. It's time for me to pack up my studio, it really is. So, um, yeah, maybe one more week, but then I really have to pack up the old studio. So, I'll show it to you when it's dry. I'm going to give it an hour. If it really dries fast, I'll wait before I put up the video so I can show you the uh, the final thing so I'm gonna wish you all a happy Sunday and thank you for watching love you all to pieces see you in the next one